I think I will never understand the human glee of defrauding and robbing people who are desperate and ignorant. Ignorance, of course, is the human default. And unfortunately, there's a hell of a lot of desperation out there also. This is very much true of people who have discovered that their child is autistic. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of people out there robbing autistic people and their caregivers with what they claim to be cures, treatments, and they often claim that they will also heal autism and recover from autism. Everybody knows why they're doing this. There is a staggering amount of money flowing from the desperate and confused and into the hands of the charlatans. This, of course, is nothing new. Living in a period where the facts can easily be checked does no good at all when the people doing the checking do not know what the correct questions are, and they look for easy answers to hyper-complex issues. There will always be monsters out there to feed upon human angst. For thousands of dollars per course, the victim can attend conferences where they learn about what is essentially magic, where they pay to be lied to for comfort, then sold magic beans. Potions are also sold that do absolutely nothing but promise miracles. Victims may also sign up to be practitioners themselves and rob others, with a cut of the take, of course, going up the pyramid. The facts. Autistic people are not autistic because they tend to have digestive problems. They tend to have digestive problems because this is a common comorbid among autistic people. Probiotics do not grant any benefits to anyone except the sellers. Buying prepackaged food for thousands of dollars will not stop an autistic person from being autistic. Almost all autistic people are born autistic with autistic genes. Autism is about 90% heritable which makes it among the top three human genetic disorders. Because autism is diagnosed by behavior, many autistic people learn skills that will place them below the diagnostic threshold, and this often comes with maturity. Many autistic people will remain tucked inside themselves, and it is these latter people and their caregivers that the charlatans target. Impatience in healing autism is something that often comes up in my work with parents who are healing their children from autism. This person is just, of course, one out of thousands of people promising the moon and delivering absolutely nothing. We want our children to thrive now. I get it. But we parents, we get frustrated with impatience. Anyone frustrated from wanting to heal that which is not a sickness or a disease it's going to wait a hell of a long time. However, many times I look at impatience a little differently. When I'm impatient about something, I know my impatience is telling me. I forked over thousands of dollars out of desperation and love of a child of mine, thinking that somehow if I just spend enough money and if I learn enough and if I just give the, my child the correct diet, my child will stop being autistic. And if I were waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, I would not be impatient. I would be fucking outraged. And then I think I might be let down. And what if it doesn't happen? And then I start thinking, ah, oh, it's taking too long. And then finally, I'm usually like, Ugh, I did something wrong because it hasn't happened yet. And there, of course, we have it. Blaming the parents for not learning enough, not knowing enough, not going to enough conferences, not paying attention long enough and hard enough. And the child that they had so many hopes and wishes and dreams for, and turns out the child is autistic, and these people are screaming for treatment and a cure. And these charlatans come along and happily, gleefully sell to them hope.
That is what they are selling, hope. And jack shit about the autistic child, jack shit about ethics and morals, and jack shit about crime and punishment and law and order. People praying like vultures on despair and fear of, of the caregivers of an autistic child. How f dare they do this is fucking beyond me.